Well, this is certainly a surprise, but a welcome one. Hello guys, what is up? It's Kat here. We are about to check out, did anyone know this was coming? The Tales of the Empire official trailer from Disney Plus. This is popping off. It's not even, it's four hours old and it already is almost at a million views. Tales of the Jedi was on another level, it was absolutely electric, and I think there was just unanimous adoration for those stories, the short form, the anthological look at some of these new perspectives. I think especially Dooku's storyline was very well received because it offered a whole new lens, a whole new outlook and perspective on the actual process of turning from the hero and morphing into the villain. But, you know, when you frame it from a certain way, it almost, it just offers a new perspective. So his storyline in particular, those episodes, they were just some of the coolest Star Wars ever. And I think it's safe to say that we were all really hoping that this was not going to be a one and done installment, that there would be more. But this is certainly the bait and switch of the century. Now we are going to be phasing into Tales of the Empire. And based on Barris Offie herself in the thumbnail here, I'm presuming that this is going to be focusing on some of the darker characters, some of the antagonists, perhaps. And it's coming out May 4th? What the frick? That's less than a month. What the frick? Oh my gosh. This is literally... The this is this this here I am I'm getting really emo and upset that the Bad Batch is about to come to an end and of course other than Tales of the Jedi which we knew was going to be renewed unaware that it was focusing on the Empire unless we did know about this and I'm just oblivious but of course this is very awesome news I'm glad that we still have of course this in the pipeline but I'm getting real sad as the Bad Batch is coming to a close because I just I want Star Wars animation to keep going so this is gonna keep it breathing number one on trending like this is how popular this content it is it's so freaking good oh my gosh i can't believe it okay long live the empire <laughs> Shiz. why do you seek imperial favor okay okay thrawn years ago my people were all but destroyed oh, my morgan anger gives me strength it is that strength That's true, she be dead. Set Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Hello, Mr. Grand Inquisitor. This only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! Oh. You said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. Oh. My world has been burning. Hello, Gravy! Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Now, you must face one final test to join us. Time you meet your new master. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, y'all better bow down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Long live the Empire. Oh, <laughs> that transition. Oh, that fade. Oh. Nikes. Oh, frick. What the flip? Oh, frick. Okay, so this is unexpected. So we are getting Morgan Elsbeth and Barris Offie. Barris's transformation, I'm presuming, undergoing the trials to become an Inquisitor. Holy frick. Frick! And Morgan Elizabeth with a storyline I think we're a little more familiar with. It seems like it's going to be a prequel to where we meet her in Mandalorian season two? where she has already assumed total power and authority over that village, claiming it kind of captive and really wreaking havoc on all of its inhabitants. So we're, I guess we're going to see the process of how that comes to be. General Grievous, are we going to see like the attack on Dathmere? Like what the flip? And you know, the parallels between them, you know, these two both kind of driven to the brink, their transformation to what they become. You know, Barris, we obviously see that in the Clone Wars. Barris is already at that point 
versus Morgan, I think we will see a younger version of her getting to that place uh, where the rage just drives her to, you know, bow down, long live the empire. But oh my gosh. And coming out so soon. Wow. I am so freaking stoked. I mean, the first, again, the first few sets of episodes, those anthological stories in Tales of the Jedi, they were just, they were just on another level. And it's so incredible because it really does speak to the argument quality can be more important than quantity. You know, those episodes, some of them were not even, like, were they even 15 minutes long? They were, this is short form stuff, but they are some of the most memorable, absolutely incredible stories. And of course, you know, Star Wars animation, this being similar to the Clone Wars style, but it just gets more and more visually stunning, visually unbelievable and beautiful as it goes on. So of course, you know, I'm super excited for, the, you know, the new places, new visuals, seeing more of Dothamir, hopefully, you know, in this show, like, holy shnikes, and lots of appearances from some other familiar foes as well to see the Grand Inquisitor again. Oh, frick. That, that, I think I'm already the most intrigued about seeing the underbelly, what is the process of how they become Inquisitors, the trials that they face, and it's very clear already that they, like, go ham. They they don't pull any punch just because they're training them to be like absolutely merciless. Like they're beating any sort of humanity out of them, I imagine. So that's going to be very interesting. All right, what the frick is going on outside my window? Okay, well, I'm going to try to end it here because something's happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this. I cannot believe we're getting this in literally less than a month. Let me know. I didn't actually film reactions to Tales of the Jedi, but should I react to this one, Tales of the Empire? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Long live the Empire! I was going to say my usual, may the force be with you guys always, but we can say a little. Long live the Empire as well. <laughs> and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye, friends.